Is this thing on? It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Bruh. We got my main lady, the red one. Wendy. Wendy. Got mad burgers today, guys. Hamburgers. Deluxe. Cheese burgers. Gromit, they're cheese. Cheese, Gromit. Cheese. Mmm. Mm hmm. My absolute favorite. Gotta make these nice in the front. Nice in the front. Nice in the front. Hey, yo, what up, world? What's good with y'all? Hope you're doing very well. I am half okay, but half not okay. Last night was true Halloween, Thursday night Halloween, like real go out, like true day 31st Halloween, October Halloween is the best, okay? I may or may not be either still a little drunk, I think that's the case, um, but I'm certainly heading into Hangoverville, which I want to attack and defeat with this delicious treat before we even really get there, okay? So we're back with an eight cheeseburger episode, I've done a few of these, I did Burger King, I did McDonald's. McDonald's was crush, clutch, amazing. But to be honest, if I'm with you on some small hamburger business, uh, eight of them, I will say that the Junior Bacon Cheese from Wendy's is, ah, uh, like it's 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 the top of the rung. I, you know, it's not a cheeseburger technically really in terms of the simplicity because there's many things on it. That's probably why I like it more. So anyways, that said, let's pour up. Get our bird going. Today we have no breach on Forch. And we do have a cherry pe Pepsi, which I can get on board for. Totally. Got the fizzle up. Fizzle, fizzle, let it sizzle. I'm like Snoop D O double G. All right. I'm so random and wild right now, guys. So just take me as I am, okay? No judgments. Ooh, but we must. Mm. Fine, fine notes of hangover cure. <laughs> On point though, for real. Cherry Coke, Cherry Pepsi, Cherry anything is just a cut above. You know what I mean? Okay, so I spun up some mayo and ketchup. We got that. We're going to go full Dunkaroo on that bitch. And then uh, I brought the Hidden Valley Shadow of Ranch as well. Because, I don't know, I just, we're going to get a little cray cray with the shits today. You know what I mean? And then we got some mad honey mustards here. They gave me three, and I only ordered five chicken nuggets, so it's like, shout out. I'm super down for that. But, uh, yeah. These are my fave. Just look at how picturesque, perfect, just beautiful they are. I love everything about it. Bacon, cheese, tomato, lettuce, ketchup mayo, like it's really how are you going wrong with that so maybe excessive call me crazy but it's all right with me right now in my current state bliss pure unadulterated bliss bro wow there's something about wendy's bacon man it's the most real fast food bacon The crisp on it, so perfect. It's 
the flavor on it. Just stupid. For any Wendy's haters out there, you gotta give your head a shake, man. In the fast food game, Wendy's is top tier. And I'm not even up to, to, to debate it. Like, you can't debate me on it. Like, you can't sit there, like, you can't even argue a case. In the, like, I know everybody's entitled to an opinion in this world, but in this situation, uh, I strongly say that no, you, there's just, there's no debate. Wendy's is legit, legit. So, there's that. So yeah, I want to get a little crazy with this a little chicken ranch mash up here. Kind of like in the gangbang. But, uh, you know, a more Wendy's-esque version. So, it's been a while since I've had a Wendy's nugget, if I'm honest. And I will say this, if we're talking about, like, top shit with, you know, what reigns supreme, I will say McDonald's nuggets can't be touched. And I don't think Wendy's are that good, but Wendy's has really good other stuff. Man. Fried breaded chicken and ranch. Our holy matrimony. They've said their vows. And they're staying together for life. They're on that old school 1930s shit. Back in the day when marriage actually meant something. I feel as if we're getting further and further away from it. Marriage is becoming antiquated, man. Which is whatever, man. Roll with the times. Things change. And that's okay. Can't be afraid of change. It's inevitable. So life's all about forward progression. <clears throat> Who even decided that we were supposed to be monogamous beings? Who, like, who decided that? Why is that a thing? Last I checked, we are seed spreading procreation animals, really, at core value. We are to perpetuate the species. Is it not our instinct to go around and multiply and be with many partners? I don't know. I don't actually know the answer. I'm just, you know, I'm gathering thoughts here. Because if that's the case, that's very primal and primitive, which 
we're past that now as humans. We very clearly have you know emotions and you know consciousness and you know logical thinking and connections and things like that so there's emotions involved right so i don't know very interesting but in this day and age of easy access all access pass and instant gratification those values seem to be going out the window and uh You like how that plays into marriages. Marriage is like a long, hard, like job commitment, you know? <clears throat> Where in today's world, it's like everything's pretty, like, you know what I mean? I have to get burps. But, like, I didn't, I ordered this from my bed. Showed up at my door, and here I am. Eating, you know? all too easy and then you got Instagram and all these things and you could just have you have you have access to anybody right right like you can just talk to anybody you can just slide in DMs like you know nice ladies or thotties or whatever you want or vice versa with 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 guys too like women for men Just too many, too much access, too many options. A lot of exposure to temptation, really. Speaking of temptation, and I must check if there's a new episode. I started watching the, the new season of Temptation Island. Like Temptation Island 2019. Yeah, lit, fire. Such a sucker for those shows. I love to see people go off the rails. The one chick Yo, check this out. This is so hilarious. It's so standard, too. It's, like, so typical. Out of all the couples, there was this one chick who was, like, mad saucy, mad insecure at her man about, like, him being a cheater or cheating and things, right? First night, first night in the house with dudes, she smashes, she takes it to Pound Town, first night, that's so like, it's always the one who's like the most insecure and like on her man about shit. And then you're the one, like, immediately, first episode, you're just fucking on some random 
Shit. What? Psycho. Captain Insano, but it's how it goes. Okay. Well, that's a weak attempt. Uh, in my hungover state, I thought I would be, like, I feel starving. I felt starving. I thought I'd be able to crush more, but that's all I got. I can't go any further. I literally will throw up if I have another whole burger. I can have one nugget. I will say this. And these nuggets, not so much. Not so much. Burgers, so much. McDonald's nuggets, the truth. Also, when I'm hungover, really the MVP, VIP player in the, you know, in the lounge is my fucking pops. Ice cold pop. It's like, it's the best. Legitimately the most enjoyable thing when hungover. Ice cold, sugary, or fake sugary soda. And that's it. And that's the truth. And that's real. So, I will be eating these later. Don't you worry your little mind about it. These will not be going to waste. Also, maybe if you want, this isn't the updated one, but hey, I got a, I have a merch store. So, there's some new, not this one, but a cooler one on there. And many colors, many flavors. So if you'd like to check that out, please do. But you don't have to because your life is your life and you make all your decisions for yourself. Uh, till the next one, though, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true.